Welcome to another tutorial where we will see how to create this kind of ordered lists in Elementor and CSS, where instead of simple numbers like 1, 2, 3, we have step 1, step 2, step 3. Of course, this can be any custom word that you want. And we will also see how to create this step 1, step 2, step 3 on a separate line separately from the list item. So let's get started. I have my Elementor page here and I will use the text editor widget. And uh, now I will just place my text here. I have it already in my, I will just copy and paste it. And I will create uh, a numbered list or ordered list from this text. In order to do this, let me just put it as separate paragraphs. So I will use a hard break. And we have a basic list here. Now, if I go to my advanced tab and I'm using Elementor Pro, which means that I have the custom CSS field here. If you don't, you can also use a custom CSS class and then use a plugin to customize this class using CSS. But I will show you this at the end of the video. For now, I will open the custom CSS field. And uh, here in this field, let's start by typing selector. This will select our element, which is our ordered list. And first thing that I want to do is that I want to type ordered list or OL and target my list items. So OL, LI and open my curvy bracket. And now first I will just type counter increment and I will define it as list item. And uh, now after this, uh, what we want to do is that we want to add the words step and uh, then use this counter increment. And uh, this will be basically applied to our marker of our list. So I will type selector, ordered list or OL, space, LE for list item. And then I will uh, type a uh, double colon and I will target, target my marker. Marker is basically this number in ordered list. So it's one, two, three, and so on. So now I'm styling my marker and I will type content. So since I want to use, I want to add some words in front of this, these numbers, I will just simply type the word that I want to add. I will open the quotation mark and I will type step. Then I will add a space here. And then after step, I want to have my uh, markers actually. So the numbers one, two, three, and so on. So I will just close the quotation mark and then I will type counter, a list item, put in brackets. And you can see that it's already adding the numbers and that they're following the order of these list items. And lastly, I want to add a, a colon after the number and then some space. So again, I will just close my counter list item, add a space, then I will open another quotation marks, add a colon and just some space to create a little bit more air between the marker and the list item text. And uh, now basically we've uh, finished uh, with this styling. Now there are a few things more that I want to do. First of all, uh, let's now, while we are still in the marker styling, I want to create a bold effect. So I will type font weight and we can use something like, for example, 600. And uh, lastly, you can see that this text is kind of not aligned with my list. So in order to align them, I will just type selector. And now I'm styling my ordered list in general. So I will just type OL. And uh, I want to style the list style position property. So I will type a list style position and I will set it to inside. And uh, lastly, what I want to do is to remove this padding on the left side. So I will just type padding left and set this to zero pixels. And there you go. Now we can also change the color of this step one, step two, step three, which is our marker. So if I go back to my marker styling, I can type color and then I can change it to whatever I want. Now let's see how we can achieve the same effect, but with this step one, step two, step three being on a separate line above the list item. Now this is a very similar process, but instead of marker, we will need to use before pseudo element. So let's just duplicate this for now and go back to our advanced tab, custom CSS. And uh, in this case, we will leave the selector OLLI and we will leave this counter increment to list item. So I won't touch this one. But here where we have the marker styling and the OL or order list styling, we will make some changes. So first of all, instead of using a marker, what I want to do is to use a before pseudo element. 
And the reason is that how we will achieve placing the step one, step two, step three in a separate line is using display block. And the display block does not apply for markers. It applies for before pseudo elements. So I will just type here before instead of marker. And uh, you can see that it's kind of still there, but we do have these numbers at the beginning as well, which we will remove later. So this before the content will be the same. So we have the step, then we have the counter of this item and we have this column. We can leave the font weight and we can leave the color. Now, first of all, let me just remove these numbers at the beginning, one, two, three. And those numbers come from the OL setting. In order to remove them, what I want to do is simply go to my selector OL and I will type list style type and set it to none. And this will reset basically the formatting so that these markers are removed. And uh, the reason that we can remove them is because we already included them in this before pseudo element, which is this counter LI. So it is already counting our list items and we can just simply remove uh, the default ones from our ordered list. So we use list style type none. And now the last thing remained, remaining to do is to go to our before pseudo element and I will type here display block. And you can now see that basically this before pseudo element or this step one, step two, step three, it is now taking up the full width of the container, which basically creates this kind of a hard break on our list items. So we use display block. And the last thing that I might do here is going to my list item styling. So selector O L L I. And I just want to create a little bit more spacing between my list items. So we'll type margin bottom and maybe something like 20 pixels. And there you go. That's it. That's how you basically create this uh, effect in uh, ordered lists. Now, if you're using uh, Elementor free, in that case, we will use the same formula, the same code. So I can just copy this code. But instead of uh, having this field available here, the custom CSS field, I will go back to my uh, WordPress dashboard and uh, let me just find my custom CSS plugin. I'm using simple custom CSS and JavaScript. So then you can just use uh, your CSS sheet and you can place it in here. So I can just copy paste the code, but instead of selector, what we can do is simply create a class for, for our widget. So if I have this text editor here, I can go to a layout. I can name a class here. So I can assign, for example, a class uh, step list. And I will click on update. Actually, before clicking on update, let me just remove this code from here. Then I can go back to my CSS. This is where I copied this code. And instead of selector, I will just type dot step list. And then I can just simply copy this class name, including the dot and replace all the selectors with this class. Let's click update and see what this does to our page. Let's refresh it. And you can see that we have the same effect. We can do the same thing with this other text widget. So we will just remove this code from the custom CSS. I would assign it a class and then I will just use that same code within a for that class uh, using my CSS custom CSS and JavaScript plugin. That's it. I hope you like this video. If you have, don't forget to like, comment or subscribe.